I really do worry about you. I also think that you hate Liam Hemsworth because if you don't take a book with you everywhere, like what even are you? Are you even a real reader? You love the blonde guys. I also think that you cry a lot. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Vidita and today I have a super exciting video for all of you and I know I say that every single time but this one really, it is a super exciting video and that is because today I'm gonna be telling you all what type of person you are based on your favorite book but please take everything that I'm saying here with a grain of salt because obviously these are like very exaggerated things I'm saying especially because I'm often making fun of myself and I think it's just funny. So yeah, let's just get started with book number one. The first book we have here is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. If A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is your favorite book, you 100% rewatched Criminal Minds five times and you know every single episode, you have made lists from best to worst episode, you are a Criminal Minds stan. On top of that, you're definitely in love with Spencer Reed and you like the nerdy type guys, the quiet guys. I also think that you cry a lot, but you can never cry in front of people, like you have to hide your tears as soon as the first tear starts falling, you run to your room because no one can see you cry. Also, you 100% listen to Nobody No Crime on repeat on a daily basis. And lastly, I think this is also like your first thriller series or a first thriller book. And now you're a changed person. You've discovered your new favorite genre and you will never go back. You are now fully immersed into the thriller world and will never read anything else except thrillers. The next book we have here is Redeemed by Lauren Asher, and I know that Michaela sent this in. If Redeemed is your favorite book, you 100% live by the quote, I can change him, because in your head you have made up this idea that your future boyfriend is going to be super grumpy and broken and hurt, and you're going to come in and heal him and make him a better person and transform him into a golden retriever. Does that mean you're also the therapist in your friend group? Yes, 100%. I believe you are the person everyone goes to when they have to spill their guts, and you just sit there and be like, it's okay. It's fine. And you would also definitely tell your boyfriend when he's having a little bit of a breakdown that he just has to focus on your voice and he just has to look into your eyes to pull him out of that zone. And finally, you're also just Michaela. Okay, next is Shatter Me by Tahera Mafi. And if this is your favorite book, you need to go to therapy right now. We don't have time for fun and giggles and laughing. We need to talk about your past trauma today. I also just think that you're 100% team Adam. There's no way you have ever even thought about looking into Aaron Warner's direction, which also means that I don't think you've read the rest of the series because if you've read the rest of the series, how is Shatter Me still your favorite book? Doesn't make any sense. And if you, the Shatter Me lover, have then finally read the entire series, you will say just what this person says, and that is that Ignite Me is your favorite book. You're cool. If you could, you would only read enemies to lovers romance stories because friends to lovers, what even is that? You need angst, you need tension, you need hatred in every single book you read. I also think that at one point in your past, maybe at 2 a.m. in the morning, you thought about getting an Ignite Me tattoo. Don't lie to me. And lastly, I also think that you really want a very, very tall boyfriend, but you know deep down that if your boyfriend is short, that it's okay because if he's like Aaron Warner, it's fine to be short. Oh, this is fun. The next favorite book is Twilight. If your favorite book is Twilight, you live and breathe in Converse. You could never wear any other shoes except Converse. And you're definitely not like other girls and you're considered weird. You're a little bit quirky. You are different. And on top of that, you wear flare jeans, dark fall colors. You are immersed into the Twilight world in real life. I also think that you definitely listen to music with like cable headphones, even though you have AirPods and very expensive wireless headphones. But just so you don't ruin the vibe, you have to listen to music with your cable headphones. It's a rule, okay? It's a rule. And I would also like to say that yes, you had a crush on Edward ever since Twilight, but deep down, deep down, you love the daddies in this book, especially Carlisle. And I also think that you have 100% done the Radio Rebel move, like the... And last but not least, Alice is 100% your favorite character because, duh, Oh, okay, yeah, next is A Little Life. If you like this book, you like to suffer. You cannot read a book unless it makes you cry for weeks so you have swollen eyes and just look like all type of happiness has been taken out of your body. I really do worry about you. And you also read the book 100% without checking the trigger warnings. You just didn't do it because you thought you wouldn't cry, but in the end, you bawled your eyes out. Next is The Fine Print. If this is your favorite book, you're definitely a Disney adult. And that's all I have to say. Oh, now we get to the good stuff. The next book is When You Were Everything. 
if this is your favorite book, you have lots of friendship drama, and I mean loads of it. There's just too much in your past that when you read this book, you relived every single fight you ever had with your friend. You also have like the worst trust issues and cannot open up to anybody because you're scared everyone is gonna leave you. I also think that you are very much a people pleaser and can never say no to anyone. You have to do whatever a person tells you to do because you're scared they will leave you if you don't. And I also think that you are me. <gasps> oh, this is fun. The next book is Heartless. If this is your favorite book, you 100% watched Ever After High. And I mean, not only the movies, but also every single webisode. And you hate Apple White. You cannot stand her. And you are 1 million percent a rebel. I also think that you're that person who reads books without having any expectations for happily ever afters, which I should, by the way, learn from you because you never get your hopes up that no one will die in this book. You always are prepared for the book to have a sad ending. And last but not least, you're definitely a fashion icon. I want to have your closet and I want to steal your outfits. Ooh, okay. The next book is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. If this is your favorite book, your Pinterest is filled with pictures of men in linen shirts. And I mean, only. Every single picture is the back of a man with like blonde tousled hair in a linen shirt in Greece. And I also think that your TikTok is only filled with those old money aesthetic videos with like the Gossip Girl sound where it goes like, hey, Upper East Siders, Gossip Girl here. And it's like, and it's just like pictures of large friend groups living their best life that are most definitely very, very rich. And you 100% learn chess post reading this book. And chess boards are now a weird niche obsession that you have. Oh, and obviously you need to listen to classical music whenever you read. Duh, it's the vibe. And you only read with candle light. Mm, okay, the next book is Crooked Kingdom. If Crooked Kingdom is your favorite book, I think you're a hardened Scott because you like the pain. Because how else is this your favorite book? I know what happens in there. How? Aww. The next book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. If this is your favorite book, your Pinterest board is filled with images of like people crying. Like those close-up images of eyes with just one tear streaming down. It's all very dark and gory. And I definitely want to give you a very, very long hug. This is me giving you that hug if this is your favorite book. Ooh, interesting. The next book is The Mind of Series by S.T. Abbey. And if this is your favorite book, you watch Jennifer's Body every single weekend. And I mean, not just Jennifer's Body. I mean, you watch every single movie that has any type of feminine rage inside because you live for feminine rage, which I love, by the way. I also think that you live for revenge and that revenge is your middle name. On top of that, you 100% watch Criminal Minds, but you root for female... And that leads me also to the last point, which is you support women's rights and women's wrongs, even though there aren't even any wrongs in the Mind F series. But you do it anyways. Ooh, I like this. Okay, the next book is the Caraval series. If this is your favorite series, you 100% love Alice in Wonderland. Not only the book, but every single movie adaptation. Obviously, you also love the song Wonderland by Taylor Swift. Duh, it's, it's meant to be. And oh, and also you 100% want to go to that masquerade ball in Paris at Versailles where like everyone is dressed up with like these old ball gowns, everyone has a mask on. Oh, and I also think you want to find 100% your one true love at the masquerade ball and kiss them when they're still wearing their mask, preferably in the gardens. Yeah, and then you run away together. That, that's, that's what you want in life. Oh, okay. The next book is The Hunger Games. If this is your favorite book, you 100% think that you could survive The Hunger Games, but deep down, you know you wouldn't. Like, deep down, you know you would die in the first fight. But we, we believe in you in our hearts, okay? I also think that when you were younger and you first read the book, you wore the Captain's Everdeen braid almost on a daily basis. And you were this close to taking archery lessons because you thought it was just so cool and badass. <laughs> I also think that you hate Liam Hemsworth just because he played Gale in the Hunger Games. And then when everything happened with Miley Cyrus, you just knew, you were like, I knew he was a bad guy because he was already a bad guy when he played Gale. Like only a bad person can portray Gale like he did. That is 100% you. And you know what? I don't like Liam Hemsworth either. I also think that you're most likely a Taurus and that Dog Days Are Over is your most listened to song on any fantasy playlist. Ooh, okay. Next is Six of Crows by Lee Bordugo. If this is your favorite book, you 100% want to have a found family trope in your own life and you want to have a big friend group that grows all together where like all the kids are friends as well. 
And I also think that you don't need books to have a romantic happily ever after, but you want books to always have a platonic happily ever after. And you would always rather have the love interest die than the best friend, which is super valid. And you hate giving hugs and receiving hugs. Like whenever someone hugs you, you have to lean back with your entire body so they don't touch you and you're like, pat their shoulder like this. You also 100% are an autumn person, but like dark autumn, AKA foggy vibes with lots of rain and thunder. And you definitely have a leather coat. Okay, the next book is Percy Jackson. If Percy Jackson is your favorite book, you definitely consider yourself a Greek mythology specialist. I also think that you were that one kid that whenever you visit a museum, blurted out loud that they knew everything about Greek mythology just because they read Percy Jackson. And whenever you recognize like a statue of an old Greek god, you were like, yeah, I know this because I read and I'm better than all of you. Uh, next is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. If this is your favorite book, you are 100% a Taylor Swift stan. You're a Swifty and you are going to the Eras tour. I also think that you're that one person who dreams and imagines about marrying their first significant other and never breaking up with them. I also think that you're that friend who changes their hobby every two weeks. Like you have tried out everything, archery, synchronized swimming. You have tried everything and you always only stick to every hobby for two weeks and then decide to do a different thing. And I love it. Oh, haha. Okay, next is Girl in Pieces. Um, if this is your favorite book, you're broken and you need therapy right now. Ooh, this is fun. Um, the next book is We Were Liars. If this is your favorite book, you 100% want to live like all those granddaughter coastal girls that are all over TikTok. And every single TikTok on your you page is of a girl who is wearing like a blue white button down shirt who is just hanging out in the Hamptons and living her best life. I also think that you're that friend who's like very secretive about their family. And whenever you invite friends over, they are super shocked by the reality you actually live in because you never tell them anything. And when they find it, they're like, what? And I also think that on top of that, you have lots of family drama. And I mean, you have that type of drama that no family dinner can go without a giant fight and someone leaving abruptly. Oh, the next book is The Song of Achilles. If this is your favorite book, you have a tote bag from that Shakespeare and Company bookshop. And I also think that you're that person who carries a book with them everywhere. I mean, even grocery shopping where you know you 100% will not read, you have to take a book with you. It's a necessity. Because if you don't take a book with you everywhere, like what even are you? Are you even a real reader? And you actually like reading books that cause you pain, which worries me a lot. Because why do you wanna be in pain all the time? Let me help you. <gasps> Yay! Next is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. If this is your favorite book, you're just the best person ever and super cool. But I also think that you have trust issues that are just like <laughs> through the roof and that you can never open up to anyone because you're constantly scared of people leaving you. And that includes your family. You are terrified to tell them who you really are and you constantly feel like you have to live up to the expectations and do whatever they want you to do even though you have completely other dreams in your life. Oh, yay! Next is Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. If this is your favorite book, you 100% are a fan of Star Wars and R2-D2 is your comedic relief. But you're not just a normal Star Wars fan. No, you have to point out every single time you talk about Star Wars that the original three movies are just better than everything else and that the prequels suck. And I also think that your favorite song is This Is A Life and that you want to go into these long road trips with your friend through the mountains and that you definitely want to have a Jeep in the future with like a retractable roof so you can like have your hands up and like have the wind flow through your hair and hands and go like, woo! I also think that you're just a nerd at heart and you have hobbies that you used to be ashamed of but now you're like very open about them and you definitely want a boyfriend as well who has like a weird interest in something. Uh, okay. Uh, the next book is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Now, if this is your favorite book, I think you watch The Voice and you fall in love with one of the singers every single time because you love their voice that much. I also think that your Pinterest is just filled of pictures of men in like suits and like men with very dark hair and veiny hands. <gasps> next is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Now, if this is your favorite book, you are my favorite person and the coolest person out there. And there's only two options of why this is your favorite book. Option one is that when you were a child, you watched Pirates of the Caribbean and you instantly fell in love with Kira Knightley. And because of that, you watched every single movie that she's in, including the Pride and Prejudice movie from 2005. And when you watched that movie, you were like, my world has been changed. I need to read the book now. And then you read the book and you fell in love with the book. And now you 
cannot stop reading anything except for classical romance books. And option number two is that you read Pride and Prejudice in school and you hated it because you were forced to read it. And then a couple years later, you decided to pick up the book by yourself and on your own. And you actually fell in love with it. And you have discovered one of your new favorite authors. And now you want to be a writer yourself. Oh, and also, obviously, the hand clench scene is your favorite scene in the movie. Duh. <gasps> Um, next is the book Le Petit Prince, and if this is your favorite book, your imagination is out of this world. I also think that you are 100% German, because I think you watched that one Kika show when you were younger of Den Kleinen Prince, and you loved the show so much that you had to read the original story. You were that kid who stayed up very late with your dad to watch the stars, and to this day, you love seeing when the stars come out at night. And last but not least, you are 100% like a classic reader at heart, but you can read any type of genre. The next is People We Meet on Vacation. If this is your favorite book, I would like to consider you a little bit oblivious. But let me explain why. I think you're that person who never knows if someone has a crush on them. And even when your friends tell you this person has a crush on you, you go, no, they don't. Why would you say that? And I also think that you were that person in high school who like looked at their crush in class a lot. And that when they then turned their head towards you, were like, oh my God, what? No, I wasn't looking at you. Why would I do that? That, that was you. It was me too though, so. And I also think that if people, We Meet on Vacation is your favorite book, that you have not read any other Emily Henry books because as far as I have heard, the other ones are way better. Next is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. If this is your favorite book, you are a hopeless romantic at heart and want to live in a fairy tale story. And I also think that your favorite Barbie movies are Swan Lake and The Nutcracker. You love the blonde guys. You were Team Grayson as well as Team Aaron Warner. And Lover by Taylor Swift is your number one album and your most listened song is Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. And I also think you're that person who falls for people because of what they look like from behind. Like you don't have to see their face, you just have to see how their hair is laid out. If you see their back, you're like, this This is my future. This is my future husband right there. You don't even have to see the face. You just know from the back that he will be yours. Next is the selection. If this is your favorite book, you are not like other girls. And you've definitely considered wearing Converse to like prom or any other school dance. I also think that you speak very loud and that you always talk back and you will always defend your friends. I also think that you're that one person who's still in their dystopian phase and doesn't know how to get out of it, but you kind of want to upgrade a fantasy. Um, I also think that you have a list on your phone with like future baby names and that one of those names is Aurora. <gasps> oh my God, this is fun. The next book is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. If this is your favorite book, you are a Marauder's stan and you definitely ship Remus Lupin and Sirius Black. I also think that you have read all the young dudes at least three times because you just love the book so, so much. And I also think that the reason you actually read this book and fell in love with this book is because you obviously know who the fan cast is for Remus Lupin and Sirius Black. And when you saw the Sirius Black fan cast, you were like, hmm, this is Ben Barnes. What movies was he in? Because what are these scenes? What movies are these scenes from? So then you watch the movie purely to see the serious black scenes because you need more content for your love for the Marauders. But then you actually realize that the movie is really freaking good and you fall in love with it. So you decide to buy the book and then you obviously fall in love with the book because it's just so great. And that is how you got there. Ooh, fun! The next book is The Simple Wild. If this is your favorite book, you have daddy issues. I also think that you are a city girl at heart, but every once in a while you see those TikToks on your For You page with those songs that go like, you have to get back out into the world. And then you fall down this rabbit hole of going onto Pinterest and TikTok and just searching out videos and aesthetic photos of people living in the wild in like Alaska or Washington or in Switzerland. And you contemplate moving away and leaving everything, including electronics behind to live in a little cabin in the woods. Oh, uh, next is Defy Me. If this is your favorite book, you're 100% going through it right now and you need help. Something's happening in your life and you need therapy. I also think that you were that person during coronavirus that just dyed their hair when they had a mental breakdown. And at the time you loved it, but now you hate it. I also know that you're that person that scream cries. You can't just cry, you have to be mad. And it also leads me to believe that you have mommy and daddy issues. 
So you technically have just like parental issues. Um, next is the Addicted slash Callaway Sister series. If this is your favorite book series, you love drama. You love hearing about it. You hate being in it though. I also think you're that person who watched Gossip Girl at least five times just because you love the aesthetic and you love everything that goes on in it. And that leads me to believe that you also have a Pinterest board filled with images of like large families or like large friend groups with kids that are just living their best life. Next is Stalking Jack the Ripper. If this is your favorite book, you are a true crime lover and you invest way too much time into trying to solve cold cases because somehow you believe that you will find that one hint that everyone in the world has missed and that you will solve the case. And you also just love Lana Del Rey, especially the album Ultra Violence. Like that's your, that's your jam. And also I think that you think that you were born in the wrong generation, but not because of like music and stuff like that, but because of fashion, because you still want to wear just like dresses and have those like tiny little hats. Ah! Next is Anna and the French Kiss. If this is your favorite book, your favorite song is Paper Rings by Taylor Swift and you 100% want a boyfriend that speaks another language so he can give you a nickname that's in a different language and so he can tell you I love you in another language because it's just super cute to you. I also think that you've never been to Paris, but you romanticize the ever-loving heck out of that city and that that is like your dream city to go to because you want to see everything that Etienne showed Anna <gasps> Next is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. If this is your favorite book, Me and the Devil is your number one listen to song this year. I also feel like you would really like Dark Academia books and that you're trying to transition to Dark Academia. And I also think that you thought that that one movie with Blake Lively where she doesn't age was actually somehow inspired by the book. Like you somehow connected in The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue with that one movie. Next is Covette. But if this is your favorite book, you are always team older brother. You think the older brother is always better. You were team Grayson, team Conrad, and team Damon. I also think that you live and breathe by the Vampire Diaries and that you've watched the originals as well as the spin-off series. Oh, <laughs> Next is The Summer I Turned Pretty. Now, if this is your favorite book, I think you're the most fickle person out there and you can never make any decisions. And I mean like simple decisions. For example, when your friend asks you what to get for dinner and they give you two options, you say, I don't know, because somehow you want both of them, but also none of them at the same time. Decision making is hard for you. I also think that you say never mind so many times because you change your opinion from this to this in one second. You could like a completely different thing in the course of five seconds, and then you have to say never mind because you change your opinion again. Next is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now this book isn't out yet, so I know that this is your favorite book and will be your favorite book because you were Team Grayson and the Inheritance Games and you need him to have a happily ever after. <gasps> Ooh, okay, next is The Maze Runner. Now if this is your favorite book, I know exactly how it became your favorite book. So you started watching Teen Wolf when you were really young and you fell in love with Stiles Stilinski and his humor, which means you also fell in love with Dylan O'Brien because he's also very funny. And then a couple years later when Dylan O'Brien starred as Thomas in The Maze Runner, you were like, oh my gosh, a new movie with Dylan O'Brien, let me watch it. So you watch it in a cinema and you absolutely adore the movie. You love it. So you buy the books right away. And before the second movie even is announced, you have read all three books and you have fallen in love with the series and with the characters and with everything. And I also know that you 100% cried while reading The Death Cure on page 251. Oh, okay, next is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Yeah. If this is your favorite book, you are a furry. Ooh, next is An Emperor in the Ashes. If this is your favorite book, you will love strong female independent main characters like Helen. I also think that you really want books to be out of the villain's perspective because you just want to see what the villain thinks and look inside their head. And if you haven't read it, you need to read The Wrath of the Dawn because I feel like you will love that series as well. Oh, this is the last one. Okay, la and last but not least, we have The Near Witch and Coraline. It's like one message, but I feel like you, I know you already just because of those two books. If those books are your favorite, I think that Halloween is not only a favorite holiday. No, it's an entire season to you. Like the season is not called autumn. It's called Halloween and you hate summer every single year. You just need colder weather so you can wear long sweaters all the time. And I also think that you are currently actually in your fantasy phase, but I feel like deep down you would really, really love horror books like Horrid, 
Yeah, um, that was the last book. Oh my gosh, we're already done. This was a lot of fun. Wow, okay. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe. Definitely tell me if I got anything correct. If I just got one thing correct, it would be funny. And also tell me if we are the same person. Because if you know me and you know my favorite books, and those are your favorite books, are we the same person? So yeah, I hope you all have a great day, evening, nighttime, morning, whatever time zone you're in. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Go read a book. I think you should read the book where the description of the person who loves it fits the most to you, if that makes sense. So thank you again so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy reading and see you next time.